Well, two St. Petersburg men have just embarked on a journey of a lifetime. They are walking and walking and walking all the way across the state of Florida. That's our Fox Focus tonight, the powerful bond that's brought these two young men together and inspires others to join in their fight. Regardless of what any man will tell you, their hair is important to them. That's why moments like these are not to be taken lightly. Especially for Holland Houts, whose son Liam has been battling leukemia for three years. I put myself in, in my perspective back then when, when he was losing his hair and I said, you know, I, I'll give up anything at this point for these children. And Jake Beach is behind it all. When the St. Petersburg man heard about the St. Baldrick's Foundation, a worldwide web of volunteers who shaved their heads around St. Patty's Day to raise money for childhood cancer research, he not only wanted to shave in honor of Liam, he wanted to take it a step farther, tens of thousands of steps farther. I thought he was crazy. <laughs> so Holland, when asked, agreed to join Jake, walking across the entire state of Florida. Kind of like Forrest Gump or something, and uh, we, we hear Forrest Gump a lot, by the way. A lot of people say that. 185 miles in six days, taking Route 60 from St. Pete all the way to Vero Beach. They've loaded up on extra shoes and socks. They've also gotten some hotel rooms donated. But there is a stretch right on the other side of Lake Wales where there's no hotel and there's no place to stay for quite some time. So one of their friends has come forward and says, you know what, I'm gonna take an entire week off of vacation and I'll be there for you. And he's gonna drive an RV. And we've got, I guess, 30 power bars. They've been practice walking for weeks as well and left for real on Sunday morning. So after all that, what more will they have to talk about? Yeah, we've already got to know each other. We've pretty much told our life stories to each other. At this point, we're just down to telling jokes and, and uh, keeping each other updated on personal life issues and things like that. But when they start getting tired, there's no question what and who will be motivating them. We're going to be thinking about the kids, you know? That's what this is all about. Um, the ones we've lost and the ones that are still fighting right now, Mark. If I have to walk across the state, shave my head, do whatever I have to do, stand on my head, moonwalk, I don't care. Um, that's my goal, to try and end childhood cancer, you know, try and bring it into it. You can find them on the web, by the way, at stbaldricks.org. Jake was able to raise more than $30,000 for childhood cancer research this year, and he's already raised about half of that so far for this walk. Well, a broken car. And two young St. Petersburg men want to thank many of you, many of our Fox 13 viewers, for showing them so much support. You remember last night at 11, we told you how these two guys shaved their heads and started walking all the way across the state. Walking to Vero Beach, they're on State Road 60, doing this to raise money for childhood cancer research. Well, guess what? Many people have stopped to give them Gatorade and water. Talk to them today. They are so thankful. They see dozens and dozens of cars are honking and cheering them on. If you want to follow their fundraising effort, we've set up a link for you on our webpage. Go to myfoxtampabay.com and you'll find it right there in the Scene on TV section.